What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. We're going to be making today a delicious, flavorful vegan recipe. It's going to be a homemade pesto sauce with basil from my garden. We're also going to put some parsley in it. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So let me show you guys how it's done. Okay, so this is what we're working with today. I got here some whole wheat uh, spaghetti. This is uh, just one ingredient. All this got is durum wheat. And it's got a lot of fiber. It's got like five grams of fiber per serving. So some really, really good whole wheat pasta. We're gonna be using some sliced button mushrooms. I got about, probably about three cups here. I took some string beans and I cut them kind of like uh, French style. Uh, cut them across and like, like at an angle, made them like in thin slices. And I got about maybe a cup and a half. I have some scallions here and I just cut them into small pieces. I got about two uh, minced jalapenos. I got a half of an orange bell pepper. I got a bunch of parsley and a bunch of basil from my um, garden. I'm going to be using the basil flowers, the stems and everything for this pesto. And a lot of times if I have any leftover uh, stems from other recipes, I usually save them and I'll throw them in when I make a pesto or any kind of um, recipe like this. I have some organic uh, extra virgin olive oil. This is Memba's Mark. It's actually being made by Sam's, which is actually some really good news that we're starting to see a lot of Walmart and uh, Sam's uh, brands being made into organic products now. I have a half a tablespoon of organic flour, about a quarter cup of minced white onion, and I have about a dozen garlic cloves and a quarter cup of white cooking wine. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our water hot and we're gonna get our pasta in and then we're gonna get over to our food processor and start adding our uh, ingredients. All right, so we're gonna start cooking our pasta. And while that's cooking, we're going to start mixing our ingredients in the processor. So now I'm going to add my ingredients to the processor. Basically, what I'm going to add in here is my basil and my parsley. I'm going to add about eight cloves of garlic. About a quarter cup of olive oil. About four tablespoons of cooking wine about a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna get that running. Okay, so it's basically done. Now we're gonna transfer it to another bowl. And this is basically the consistency that you want. You want it to be uh, with little pieces of the basil and the parsley in there but you don't want it to be like a complete uh, mush like a cream and we're going to set that aside now and now we're going to start sauteing our other vegetables okay so now our pasta is cooked i'm going to go ahead and strain it okay now i'm going to set this aside and just use the stove to cook our vegetables i'm going to saute our aromatics and some of our veggies. Onion, mushroom, and now I'm gonna add some garlic. Gonna add our pepper, the orange bell pepper. Now we're going to add in our string beans. And a little bit of oil. And a little bit of flour to create a roux right here. This is just going to be to thicken our pesto. A little bit of cooking wine. Deglaze that from underneath. Now we're going to add our scallions and jalapenos at the end. And I just want to soften up the string beans a little bit. I personally do not like them real soft. 
I like them with a little bit of crunch and they're already softened up just in a few minutes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my pasta in. And this pasta has got like a really nice uh, bite to it. It's really like um, nice and al dente. It's got so much more flavor. If you get used to like eating like whole wheat uh, bread and pasta and stuff, it almost feels like the regular uh, pasta from the bleached flour has no flavor. Like I've been eating more whole wheat and I feel like it just has so much more flavor um, than the regular stuff. Then again, it might be also because it's organic. So I don't know if that might have something to do with it. It's just more flavorful. Like I still don't eat a lot of carbs, but when I do, I try to eat better quality ones. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the pesto. This thing's loaded with phytonutrients and everything is organic because that pesto is actually grown by me. So I know it has no pesticides or nothing bad in it. Look at all that color just loaded with nutrients. When you see like these beautiful colors in vegetables and in your plate, this is really what you want. That's, you're eating the colors of life, vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients. I mean, it's all there. So final touch, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic salt just to finish it off. Just a little bit of garlic salt. Sometimes I feel like eating stuff like this, I just, been trying to cut back a bit on uh, meat consumption, especially like red meat. You know, so much stuff in it now and it's hard to find organic grass-fed stuff all the time at a decent price. So I try to every once in a while just not eat any, you know, a couple of days a week. So that's pretty much all set. We're gonna go ahead and plate it, give it a taste. Set it up like that. And these noodles came out just perfect. Really, really happy with the way this turned out. So there it is. There is the final dish. There is my vegan pasta with homemade pesto sauce. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already so you can get weekly updates on all of our videos. We're uploading every single day. So see you guys on the next one. Okay, so we're going to give this a try. It's, it looks amazing, beautiful color. I'll tell you, I'm not mad that there's no meat in here at all. It tastes really, really good. This pasta's got like a little bit of firmness. It has a lot more flavor. I can actually taste like the flavor in there. The pesto is amazing. The fresh basil is coming through with that garlic and the olive oil. I could easily enjoy this and not worry about having meat that day. If you guys are vegan and you're looking for a really delicious recipe or you just want to have a day where you're not eating meat for one meal, I highly recommend this one for sure.